Hello and welcome, PML fans. I'm your host, Admin Joe, and I am here with Morgan. What's up, guys? We're going to do the uh, weekly recap real quick here on PML DC, PML Draft Center. And as you can see uh, here at number one, we have uh, the Columbia's Clang Gang at 3 0 with uh, plus nine win points and plus 12 differential. And they're actually the first game we're going to talk about here. Um, they won a 3 0 versus uh, the Detroit Guardies using um, Rotom Frost with a one kill, one death. Right here, your Dynamax with two kills, no deaths. Espeon, two kills, one death. Aegis Slash, one kill, zero death. Milotic, zero kills, one death. And Braviary was just sitting on the bench. The Guardies. You good, Morgan? Yeah. All right. And uh, we had the Guardies over here uh, using Surfetch with one kill, one death. Dreadnought, one kill, one death. Togedemaru, one kill, one death. Weavile Dynamax got zero kills and one death. Rune Regis, Togekiss, both zero kills, one death. All right. Is that, is that David Alani's team? Alani's? Yeah. Whatever. Nice. He's I like current, him. He's currently wrecking the, the league with the best differential. Nice. That's good. I don't feel so bad about losing to him now. <laughs> Do the next one? Uh, yes. All right. Um, so that'd be the Mannheimer Machamps. Next game is Mannheimer Machamps versus the Toronto Tyranitars, which was my game. Um, so that's Ha Run's team, and he brought Excadrill with one kill, zero death. Rabombi with two kills, one death. Sableye, zero kills, one death. Mantine, zero kills, zero deaths. Blossom, zero kills, one death. Frostlass, one kill, one death. My team was Grimmsnarl with zero kills, one death. Epaldon with one kill, one death. Heliolisk, zero kills, one death. Sigilif, one kill, zero deaths. Hitmontop, one kill, zero deaths. And Barbacol with one kill, one death. Um, our game was decided by timer. Uh, did you watch the game? Did you watch my match? I haven't had a chance to. Um, yeah, it was, it was decided by timer. It was 2-2 two to two whenever we ran out. Um, he set spikes uh, the first, like, two turns of his of the game. And for some reason, my mind registered it as Stealth Rock, so I was worried about switching into Sigilith the whole time. But uh, it wasn't. It wasn't. It was spikes. So had I, had I not been worried about that, I definitely would have taken it. But uh, even so, uh, I definitely could have came back. And, I mean, I could have won, but he just had the better health at the time. So we'll never know what happened. But I'm just glad I didn't get swept by his Blossom. That's really was my main goal. <laughs> then, yeah. So other than that, um, that's pretty. there's nothing really to say about it. He played really well. His team was good. That's good. Yeah, it's the first game he's going to hit. His Blossom didn't have four kills. Hello? Hello? Hello. Yo, can you yeah. hear me? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Well, that's that's it about that. Alrighty. And actually, the Clangers, uh, Clang Gang, uh, Columbus Clang Gang, I actually read the wrong game. That was week four. This the week three was him versus Berlin Bisharp. He won plus five. Uh, Rotom, Milotic, Espeon, and Aegislash Slash all got kills. Rotom Frost was the only Pokemon to die on his team. And Kamo was basically there for show. Uh, the Berlin Bisharps lost uh, 0 and 5. Passimian was the only Pokemon to get a kill. Uh, Cloyster, Ditto, Dynamax, uh, Colossal, Whimsicott, and Manectric all died. So that's the correction to that game. And I'll go ahead and skip over number 2 because you just read that one and go to straight to number 3 with the Townsville Crocodiles, who beat the Blades 2 0. Uh, Townsville Crocodiles uh, brought Conkelder with one kill, one death, dying to Destiny Bond. Um, Vaporeon, zero kills, one death. Jolteon, three kills, zero death. Dusclops, one kill to burn. Uh, uh, they got one kill to burn. Uh, zero deaths. Uh, Roserade got a kill, one death. And Crawdont, zero kills, one death. So, 
the blades brought, of course, a Dublade with Destiny Bond to get that kill on Conkelder so it wouldn't wreak havoc like it has in the first two weeks. But he also brought Escavalier with zero kills, one death, Darmanitan G, two kills, one death, nine tails, one kill, one death, uh, Rotom Frost and Lapras both died, I mean, sorry, Rotom Fan and Lapras both died without getting a kill. All right, so that was the closest Jaden's come to losing. Yeah. Good job, man. I played uh, I played Jaden's team in the last single 6v6 tournament we did, and, uh, I mean, it, he used that team, and, I mean, everybody else brought, like, meta-heavy teams, and he just fucking repped. He's, he's, his team's very, very good. Yeah, I, I enjoy playing him. I'll be playing him in week four, so I'm very excited about that. Oh, nice. Somebody's going to leave that one undefeated. <laughs> Hopefully me. All right, so the next game is – I'm driving, so this, this is a little rough for me this time. It's fine. I, I'll, uh, take, I'll take the next one since it's my game. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. I give a little more in-depth. All right, so week three, uh, place number four is me, the uh, New England Chartriots. Uh, with the 3 0 with uh, win points uh, plus 7 and my differential plus 8. Um, I went ahead and played uh, the uh, Steven with the uh, Magic Harpies and I won 4 0. So I remained undefeated. He remained defeated with 0 and 3 record. I went ahead and brought Dragapult, Hitmonchan, uh, both zero kills. Dragapult died. Him on Chan didn't. Steelix two kills, one death. Uh, he got one kill to stealth with stealth rocks. Um, Sylveon one kill, zero deaths. Morpico was just there to parting shot. Uh, and Salazzle swept. did a lot of sweeping with three kills, no deaths, and Dynamaxing. And then uh, the Magic Harpies, they brought uh, Cinderace with zero kills, one death. Rillaboom one kill, one death. Bolton zero kills, one death. They Dynamaxed in front of Salazzle, which got Salazzle the first kill. Uh, Shedinja came in and died to Stealth Rocks, so it didn't do anything. Uh, Light Bar, zero kills, one no, death. And, it uh, came in and died immediately to Stealth Rocks? Yeah, because it only has one HP, and Stealth Rocks <laughs> negates Focus Sash. That's terrible. <laughs> yeah. And then Ostagoon uh, did the most damage with one kill, one death. Almost getting a couple more, but I had to play around it. Oh, nice. Oh, you have Obstagoon? No, they have Obstagoon. Uh, uh, Steven. I thought he had Sucker Punch on it, so I switched out Salazzle. Salazzle could have got that last kill. But I thought it was going to Sucker Punch. I was trying to save Deferential. Nah, I feel you. And, uh, didn't play out towards the end like the way I wanted, so I brought in uh, Sylveon at the end to get the kill since he was at full health. Nice, nice. Alright, the next game is the... Wait, isn't this... Is this not David's game? This is the Berlin vs. Bisharps. Yeah, so... Oh, wait, I'm looking at the power rankings. Hold on. Sorry. Wait, isn't that... Is that not David's game? Yeah, it was David versus uh, Akin. But you already covered that one. Yeah, pretty much. But they're sitting in fifth place with the 2-1 and record. Win points, plus six, and a negative one differential. Then you can go ahead and take number so six. What game? Atlanta number six. Niners right. Should be the first game. Atlanta Arcaniners versus Michael Bloom and his draw club. Um, so, uh, the Arcaniners coach is Jesse Dudek. He brought Golizapod with one kill, one death. Neuvern with zero kills, one death. Poltygeist with five kills, zero death, and Poltygeist Dynamaxed. Diggersby, zero kills, zero deaths. Gardevoir, zero kills, zero deaths. And Glaceon, zero kills, zero deaths. So Poltygeist looks like he swept. Uh, Draw Clones brought a double with zero kills, one death. Appleton, zero kills, one death. Pseudowoodo, two kills, one death. Clean Clang, zero kills, one death. Crustle, zero kills, one death, and Crustle Dynamaxed. And Rodon Wash with zero kills, one death. So, uh, looks like Poltygeist. I don't know much about Poltygeist, but it seems to have Dynamax and swept somehow. Um, does he get 
what is it? Does he get nasty pot or anything like that? Uh, shell smash. Shell smash? Really? Interesting. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Well, I'm assuming that's what happened. But is has Michael won a game this season? Uh, I don't believe so. Damn, Michael, you're slipping now, man. Falling in the rankings. Okay, here we go. And uh, <laughs> for real, he's normally uh, at least the middle of the pack. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he was three in the on the ladder. He's like five or six now. He hasn't been competing as much. Well, hopefully he'll come back out pretty soon and start building his record back up. Uh, number seven, we have the Melbourne Manectrix sitting at two and one with the win points plus four and differential of negative two. Um, he played Dusty this week and Dusty got the win on him. Uh, the Knights came in using Charizard with two kills, zero deaths. Hydreigon, one kill, one death. Durant, one kill, one death. Quagsire, two kills, one death. And Persian and Claydol coming in to just die. And then uh, Magne Manectric, they used uh, Tyranitars with three kills, one death, G-Max. Ndidi's two kills, one death. Lucario, zero kills. Uh, Weezing, Turtonator, and Excelgor, all zero kills, one death. And they kind of showed how the game kind of played out. Um... So how this is written out is Claydol set Spikes turn one. Uh, I guess Weezing tried to come in. Persian taunted uh, Galarian Weezing to stall Defog. Uh, a little a little while later, Charizard killed Lucario and Excelgor. Then Hydreigon killed Galarian Weezing. Durant killed Turtonator. Can you believe that? No, I can't. And then uh, Quagsire killed Tyranitar and Ndidi. Uh, Tyranitar, uh, Tyranitar, Tyranitar killed, apparently Quagsire, which I don't get how that happened, but apparently it killed Quagsire, and Claydol, in Persian, had a plus one D dance, and DD killed Durant and Hydreigon, so Charizard was the sole survivor of that battle. <laughs> Uh, interesting. I know that Riley said something about Dusty was playing kind of stall. Does uh, Quagsire still get toxic? Uh, I believe so. I'm not entirely sure. But I would assume that's how he got the kills. Yeah. Uh, I'd imagine. Alright. Well, good job, Dusty. Uh, Riley's really good, so I'm, I'm surprised to see him lose. I actually, earlier in the season, I asked if Jaden and Riley were in the same division because I think that they're both pretty good. I was just wondering if they were going to end up playing each other at any point. Yeah, they will. Um, it, I believe me, Dusty, Jaden, and uh, Riley are all in it with Matt along with Steven, uh, Norman, and David. No, not David. Uh, the the Beedrills. Forget it. Uh, Isaiah. Isaiah, Isaiah. 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 All right, so, wait, that's all the, is that all the games? Yeah, just noting that uh, Dusty with the Day Day Nights is in eighth place, sitting at 2-1 and one with the plus four win points and negative four differential. So he's climbing his way back up from a s slow start. Nice. All right. All right, guys, that is your week three recap. Uh, hope you enjoyed. Like, subscribe, and join the Facebook group.